notice people acting different? Put it in the comments right now before you watch this video. I've noticed it every day. Things seem to be getting a little bit worse. Every time I'm driving my wife to work and picking her up, I feel like we might die at any moment. People are driving insane nowadays. I feel, seriously, it's like we're gonna crash at any moment. There's no law, there's no order. People just do what they want. Have you noticed? I've noticed it's just, it's been very crazy recently. In the past few months, I've noticed increases in accidents, increases in crazy drivers. Every single day, there's some sort of accident. Just the other day, we were driving to work and the road was blocked off. And we're like, what is going on? There's a million police cars. And it turned out that the road that we were driving on, not even probably 20 minutes before we got there, there was a random shooting. Somebody just started shooting at cars driving by, and somebody got shot in the face. I mean, if we would have left early for work, maybe that would have been us. Who knows? It's just, it's crazy. People are crazy. Every single day I'm driving, I feel like somebody's going to crash into me. Somebody's going to kill me. I mean, I'm grabbing the steering wheel with everything I have sometimes and, like, white-knuckle driving. And let me just, you know, give you guys some background. I am not new at driving. I've been driving my whole life. I know I don't look old, but I'm 36. I've been driving since, you know, I was 18. Uh, I had a career full-time driver for many years. I've driven across the country many, many times. I've seen how people drive. And, yeah, people do normally drive crazy. But this, this is a whole nother level. I mean, in my area specifically, it seems like the police are just not there anymore. Um, we didn't suffer from a defund the police movement in my city, but I don't know where they're at, you know? They're just not there. People can go, I mean, the speed limit is 65. The flow of traffic is about 85. But it, say, say you're cruising 85 on, in the fast lane. Chances are you're going to be run off the road by somebody going 110, 120. I mean, it's just insane, like... Every single day, I feel like something's, you know, I don't know. People are just, <laughs> I just can't put it into words. People are insane. You can feel it. And it also, I don't really go out much, but, you know, just going around town, going to the gym, going to the stores here and there, I've noticed it too. People are just like, I don't know, they're cold. They're angry. They have some sort of, like, bitterness to them, you know? You smile at somebody, and they just give you dirty looks. People just stare, and, like, when you look back at them, they look away. It's like say hi, you know, like, why are you looking? If you're going to look, say what's up. Hey, how you doing? You know what I mean? Like, what's going on here? It's just, I don't know. I just, I've never felt so much, you know, aggression from strangers and so much, like, they just, I don't, they just lost their humanity, it seems. I don't know if it's the whole pandemic or if it's um, the things that Jesus said were going to happen are happening to people, but people's hearts are definitely growing cold. When I get home, I'm like kissing the ground. Thank you, Lord, for making me, you know, allowing me to get home safe because it's just, it's, it's chaos. The roads are controlled chaos. And I don't know, it seems like it's going to get worse. Every day there's multiple accidents, broken down cars. Um, yesterday I was driving, yesterday I was driving to work or to go pick her up and there was a car, it was dark. There was a car on the interstate, you know, probably 80, 85 miles an hour with no headlights on. Dude, this guy's seriously, like, swerving in and out of cars with no headlights. If I didn't see some weird glinting of a reflection, I would have hit the guy. Because you put your blinker on, you look to see if the lane's clear. It's clear. But nope, there's a guy there with no headlights. You know, and sure enough, he's driving like an idiot, too, of course. So, you know, I just... Things are getting crazy out there, guys. So, I just wanted to get that off my chest and... uh wonder if I'm the only one that's feeling this. Are you guys seeing the craziness too? Are people acting the same or are they acting different? I just want to hear your stories. I want to hear if you've noticed like lawlessness on the roads. Are they actually following the directions and the rules of the road or are they just doing what they want to do? Because around here, a speed limit doesn't mean anything. I mean, 100 miles an hour. Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being a great example to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing and salutation to the whole lake out there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the whole lake, the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, and as you can see, you know, from the video, you know, this guy's pretty much going on a rant, all right, on how, you know, chaotic, 
you know, society is coming, you know, how cold people are coming, which is all prophesied in the scriptures. You know, one thing about it, prophecy is taking over. You know, you had the woman from home stay heart, you know, um, do, do a video about people being robbed, you know, for their groceries. You know, you having um, a lot of people just come out, you know, and, 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 and ranting about the weird behavior. You know, a lot of people, you know, is equating it to the juice. And we know, all right, that this man, Esau Edom, all right, is the master of witchcraft. All right, just as, you know, you go back to the Astro World concert with Travis Scott. And, you know, pretty much when you look at it, it was like watching, you know, a, a bunch of zombies. You see? And Esau Edom, when the scriptures say, you know, that he was a cunning hunter. All right, it's not only speaking about, you know, him being able to kill deer and, you know, different game animals. No, this man hunts the spirits of men. All right. And this man has ensnared the society to be very chaotic, man. You know, that's why this, especially in America, is known as what? The Babylon the Great. And Babylon goes to confusion, which we are seeing society, all right, going to great confusion. Now, what I want to do is, um, Let's get, all right, you already know where we're going. Uh, all right, let's just get a few precepts. <laughs> all right, this is the book of Matthew chapter 24. And see, these things are speaking now. <clears throat> this is Matthew 24 and 12. It says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. All right, and it's a very cold, stern spirit, you know, in America, man. I know me and my wife was in Atlanta, you know, not too long ago, and uh, it was a Hooters not too far from the um, hotel. So we just walked there, all right, to try to, you know, um, get something to eat. So we go to the bar, and we asked Jake, you know, with some somebody sitting in those two seats beside him, and he just stared back with like a, 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 a zombified, you know, lost look. He didn't even respond, you know. And we just left, man. <laughs> he like, man, these people is bugged the hell out. And we going to the word cold. What's the Greek word, man? Strong's G, 5594. Mm -hmm. Sucho. 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 What you see, that's where you get the word what? Psycho. All right? Psycho, man. All right? And it's a metaphorically waning love, man. And that's what we're witnessing happen. All right, on a major scale. And then he said, I don't know if this is what Jesus was speaking of. Well, we know, all right, his name is Yahweh, the Messiah. And he prophesied these times. He prophesied people was going to be damn psychos, man. All right. And then you go down some more. What does it say? It says, for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. All right. Nor ever shall be. So. We're coming to a time of great tribulation because he, he made the statement. He feel like it's going to get worse. All right. Because that's the energy that's in the earth. It is going to get worse, man. Now, you had this comment. When you go to this comment, what does it say? Um, the little, little chick, know your enemy. And it says, thank you for stating this. My anxiety is through the roof lately. All right. I, I've asked everyone if they notice everything becoming crazy. And I always get the same reply. Like, yes, it's. It's to be expected, all right? Because people are bugging out, man. You know, the pressure coming, all these mandates, all this job loss, all, you know, the inflation, you know, shortages. All this thing is going to turn into just a bit chaotic, all right? <laughs> you know, madhouse, man. You know, but she spoke about anxiety. Well, the scriptures speak about that, man. The, the scriptures is pinpoint when it comes to accuracy, man. And prophecy is, is pinpoint, all right, when it comes to detailing these times. Now, all right, now this is uh, Luke 21 and 25. It says, and there, be, and, sh and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, all right, the sea and waves wearing, ruin, all right? The stress and perplexity, man. That's the energy that will be in the earth. When you go to the word distress, all right? What well, it goes into? Scrapes, distress, anguish, all right? Look here, Strong's definition. 
All right, anxiety. You see that? Anxiety, man. So Yahweh Shai described these very times to the T, man. We're here. All right, in these end times that he that that, that, that was spoken of, man. And then another quick video I want to get just to show you once again the accuracy of prophecy, man. All right, you can't get around anymore. Prophecy is taking over now. This is Russia moving military equipment to the border of Ukraine. All right. All right, there's some military equipment. And those are surface to air missiles, tanks, all right, military vehicles. You see, that's big boy equipment. <laughs> it's big boy equipment. All right. <laughs> 150,000 troops at the border of Ukraine. You know? Look at it. Still coming. And it's just one train in one day. So, you know. <laughs> Still coming. All right. Biden talking this shit. Hmm. And there you have it. Now, what did the scripture say? And we'll end it here. All right. Just get this real quick. This is um Ezekiel... 38. All right. This is Ezekiel 38 and 4. It says, And I will turn thee back, and it's speaking of Russia, and put hooks into thy jaws, and will bring thee forth, and all thine horse, all thine army, horses, and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling sword, even a great company with bucklers and shields. All right, all of them handling swords, man. So Russia's being brought forth. All right, now we know there's other prophecy that has to happen before all out war, but things are being put in position. All right, they are being brought forth. This is speaking of military equipment, their army, horses and horsemen. All right, this is speaking of the modern day military equipment. It's being brought forth, man. You see? <laughs> Great company, man. All right. So this is where we at, man. I just want to put that out there, Lord. Will you was edifying? You was edified. You know. To the next time, I say, Shalom. Prophecy is taking over, man. Call me out, Shalom.